Hello and welcome back to the Battery Test Channel. So first of all, a big thank you to all of you. I think as of the last video, I think we had either 25 or 28 subs. We're at 150. So all of you that subscribed with no videos coming out, I really do appreciate it and uh, hope to share more videos like this one. Moving right along, we have the brand new high output M12 battery on the table today. This is the This was released during the pipeline event 2022 by Milwaukee. And uh, this is, you'll probably notice that it even looks different. So this is the new chemical resistant casing. So I want to take this thing apart and let's see what's inside. Before we go there, we have the CP 2.0 on the left and you'll notice that this is the 2.5. Obviously it's got uh, 2,500 milliamp hour batteries inside and sneak peek, uh, I'll tell you it's a Samsung, uh, LG, Samsung. Uh, interesting that these uh, swap brands. I want to talk about how it differs from the 2.0 and also the 3.0. So smack in between, right? Uh, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0. Why would you get the 2.5 when you can get the 3.0? And what's with the 3.0 in XC and CP? It's a really interesting question. So let's, let's talk about that real quick. The CP 3.0 and the XC 3.0 are both rated at 36 watt hours, 36, 36. But that is not how they perform. In fact, this one, this is a pretty new battery. I only got 35 in repeated testing. This one put out 41 watt hours. So if you'll notice, this one actually looks a little beat up. I've got a funny story on this one. I was going for a run and found this on the street. <laughs> I, I can't make that up. I literally found it on the street. It had a name on it. I put it on Craigslist and I said, if you are, I don't know, KJL or whatever it said, uh, let me know. Well, I think I said, Tell me which letters are on this battery on this street and uh, it's yours. Not a single person emailed me, so I guess uh, this belongs to the channel. So this uh, street battery versus barely used 3.0, this thing beat the crap out of this. And I haven't tested it, but if you were to put this on a, um, it's the die grinder, I believe that really eats up batteries. I bet you this thing will perform a lot better. So this thing, this thing has the Samsung 1500 I believe it's the 1500M cells inside. Six of them, three up top, uh, three down below. This one has the, well, I just realized during editing that I got the 30Q totally wrong. It is actually the LGA BHG 21865. So yeah, that rolls right off the tongue, which is probably why I said 30Q, even though that's wrong. These are LG cells. If you're trying to dump a lot of energy, this thing can't really do it. This thing does a lot better job. Uh, half the stress on each of the cells, right? So you also notice a trend that batteries that are lower density tend to also put out more power uh, given their amp hour rating. Anyway, didn't mean to go off on a tangent about these batteries, but let's get back to the 2.0 and 2.5. So the promise of the 2.5 is that it is higher density, higher power and energy density compared to the 2.0. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this puppy out. All right. So one screw on the bottom, I've undone that already. And good job struggling on camera, there we go. We have the bottom part here and let's see, get the battery out. Oh yeah, what's the deal with the uh, Taco Bell sauce pack? This video is obviously sponsored by Taco Bell. I'm kidding, it is not. They just make really good battery holders, what can I say? Let's get rid of this. So that's what that looks like. And here, similar deal. Let's say, let's say that's a nice looking battery pack. I'll give the 2.5 a fire, oops. All right, so the 2.5 has the new Samsung, oh, where is it? Well, it's right there. It's a little hard to see. There we go. A lot better there. Almost dropped it. INR 18650-25S. So this particular battery will put out 25 amps unrestricted. So 25 continuous rated, also rated for 35 with an 80, 80 centigrade. I can't talk today. 80 degrees Celsius temperature cutoff. Now, I found something interesting when I uh, was reading about this. It said, the rated capacity is 1.5 after 250 cycles. That seems kind of short. 
and I was able to get 34 watt hours out of this. So that's not bad, uh, considering it's rated for 30. So rated for 30, I got 34. And the 3.0, as I mentioned earlier, 0.5 amp hour higher, I only got 35. So this thing is actually uh, hitting above its weight class. Well done. Now the 2.0 uses LG cells. That, I'll let you Google that. So this thing is rated for 20 amps max. So only five amps less than the high output, but then the high output actually truly goes up to 35 amps. So definitely higher, um, higher ampacity there. It was hard to find information on this cells, uh, on these cells. I'm not exactly sure about the other details. Uh, nothing about cycle count or, um, I did find that the rated charge rate was one amp standard, four amp max. And actually it was, it's, uh, it's 1.25 for the 25R, uh, sorry, 25S, four amp max again. So yeah, um, pretty similar in terms of charge, but discharge is pretty different. So let's also talk about these, these cases. So they're actually a little bit different. This one is rated for, I, th um, I don't remember what the actual, the Milwaukee term was, but it's, it's rated for automotive use. So chemical resistant, et cetera, et cetera. So if you look at the casting markings here, this one says PC plus ABS, polycarbonate plus ABS. So nothing too fancy. Um, the polycarbonate gives it some strength. ABS is of course, uh, yeah, let's just call it what it is, garbage. So polycarbonate definitely helps out. This one's actually a little bit special. Uh, PP-GF20FR, so polypropylene with glass fiber 20%. And it's also fire rated or is it, I, I don't know if it's fire resistant or yeah, fire resistance sounds right. Um, it's not fireproof. I, um, let's see, looking at my notes here. Yep. Fire resistance. So they both feel about the same and uh, they're less than one gram apart. I did weigh them at some point. I'm not going to bore you with that. Both feel pretty good. I think the, uh, the matte finish here looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, this is not a texture. It's kind of built into the uh, the, the texture of it. Anyway, the red part, they they feel extremely similar. They they look similar, but it's got a slightly different, uh, maybe not, can't really tell on camera. But if you look at the, if you look at the inside, if I can get it to focus. Let's try one at a time. No, are you gonna work? Nope, can't do it. So off camera, I'm gonna read this to you. It's PBT. Uh, plus PC. That's what, uh, it's a polyester blend, uh, polycarbonate plus polyester blend. I think it's a polybutylene terephthalate, PBT. And this one, it's just, uh, let's see, what does this say? Uh, this is PC-FR. So it is different. PC is polycarbonate sheet, um, FR, fire resistance. So the theme continues, um, fire resistance. And also, both of these are rated to be chemical resistance, chemically resistant, shall we say. So the, the whole objective is you could possibly expose this to gasoline. And I do believe um, the, the 2.0, I was, I was reading about it, and I think it's, uh, you know, if you soak it in gasoline, it might melt. So yeah, maybe don't soak it in gasoline. So yeah, other than that, uh, they both feel pretty much the same. They both click very well uh, when they pop in. I did notice that the casting is a little bit different. Let's see if I can, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but maybe you'll notice that. So if you look way down in there, and the casting is a little bit different. I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, maybe it's a little stronger in the long run, but uh, yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.